Hey foodies, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my gadget kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti tacos in the Ninja Foodie. These are super easy and surprisingly delicious. But if it's a little too adventurous for you, you can try this taco spaghetti. Shout out to Cooking with Rick for the idea. So first I started off by browning about two pounds of lean ground beef using the saute setting on the foodie. And then I added in about half a cup of taco seasoning. Now if you want to get extra fancy you can add in some diced onion, some diced garlic, but I'm keeping it real simple. So I've got the meat, the taco seasoning, and then I'm adding in one can of diced green chilies followed by one can of rotel. So I'm going to mix that all together and then the next step is to go ahead and add the pasta. I'm using one pound of thin spaghetti but go ahead and use one pound of your favorite pasta um, because the spaghetti is so long obviously I gotta break it in half and then I'm adding in one 24 ounce jar of spaghetti sauce use your favorite sauce followed by four cups of beef broth and I'm just using my wooden spoon thingy to kind of break up the pasta and then I'm placing the pressure cooker lid on the foodie and I'm setting it to cook on high pressure for four minutes and that will be followed by a quick release of the pressure. Once all the pressure has been released, go ahead and remove the lid and now it's time to stir, stir, stir. You're gonna keep stirring so you can break up all of that pasta and get everything incorporated into the sauce. And then here I'm adding in about a cup and a half of shredded cheese. It was just some cheese I had left over from those uh, pork quesadillas. So anyways, I added in the cheese and you wanna stir it until it's all melted. This is what it'll look like. And now I've got some more cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle that all over the top. And so once the top is covered with cheese, I am going to go ahead and use the air crisp lid and I'm going to set the foodie to a broil and the cheese is going to take about four to five minutes to melt and look like this. And now it's time to serve up your tacos. Go ahead and add your favorite toppings and you're good to go. But like I said, if tacos and spaghetti aren't your thing, go ahead and serve it up in a bowl. So, what do you think? Did you like this recipe? Well, if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It'll help other people like you to find my channel. And if you're here and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and tap that button and click that bell so you know of my next upload, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And as always, thanks so much for watching. And remember, get out of that drive-thru and get into the kitchen. Bye.